Welcome guys, I am the card collector and welcome to a Tuesday video. Today we are going card hunting at Walmart. If we can't find anything at Walmart, this video will not be out. So let's take the time now, let's go to Walmart and you're going to come along with me to see what there is. All right, guys, so we are back. Pretty crazy card hunt. We went to different Walmarts around Alberta. Let's go through all the stuff we picked up. First, we picked up a Series 1 blaster. Last, a blaster box on the shelf, 1992. Cheapest stuff there is, if you can find this. And Series 1, 22, 23 has a pretty good rookie crop. The next thing that we picked up pretty amazes me, eight packs of Upper Deck. What's pretty crazy is, I did not record this, they had packs of retail for $10.92. This was not recorded because I thought the guy was going to grab all of them. I seen that they still had some in the gravity feed box. He pulled out all the packs, grabbed one of them, and he left all the other packs on the shelf. I went up, grabbed the last eight packs. So uh, this could be a really good deal. Maybe he grabbed the better one, but for eight packs, these were... $10.92 before tax. It's a pretty good deal at Walmart. And the last thing I grabbed was a power cube. One Walmart had one power cube left. Decided to grab it because, well, you can never leave the last item because you know the last item is going to have something crazy. So we're going to do the blaster box, the power cube, and then the eight packs of Series 2. So there is our road trip to Walmart. Pretty exciting stuff. We got our Jumbo Young Gun, and our Jumbo Young Gun is McLawton. We do get eight cards per pack, six packs per box. So fingers crossed that we do hit something good. Series one, of course, Matty Beneers and Owen Power. Are we going to pull one of them? Probably not. But for 20 bucks, last box on the shelf, you have to take the chance. We got a center of attention as our first hit. I'm pretty excited to open up those retail of Series 2. I can't believe the guy left all but one. So there was nine packs left. He grabbed one. I got eight. So let's see if we can pull anything good out of Series 2. A lot of base in here. And here's our young gun. There is Nicholas Abruzzese. So not the young gun we want. But it is Toronto. So Toronto does sell pretty good. And there is six packs, so fingers crossed that we do pull a second young gun. Looks like our Dazzler pack. Owen Power, that is a decent rookie right there. Skinner. Two packs to go. Chandler Stephenson. Are we going to pull one more young gun? That is the key. Every two blasters have two young guns. So let's see. I think we got base. We got base in that pack too. That is probably one of the worst boxes of Series 1 blaster boxes I have opened. All right, time for the power cube. Is this going to be worth it? Probably not. But again, it's the last one on the shelf. And power cubes are always fun. Maybe we will pull that McCarr. Who knows? Here is our random cards. So, if you have never seen any of my videos, you get seven assorted packs. Five of those are MVP, and you get 50 assorted cards. And it looks like we got a different assorted cards this time. We got Spencer Knight, Tice Thompson, very nice rookies, Denisenko, Barkov, Zegers Checklist, Jones, Kane, Janique, Drysdale, that's a nice one, Krug, Romanov, Strom, 
Barry, Caudry, Ovechkin, P.K. Subban, Blake Wheeler. There is Ross Colton, John Gibson, and our random, I believe these are 22-23 Series 2. Will we get any inserts? Will we get any rookies? Will we get any young guns? Probably not. Looks like it's all base. But that was a pretty exciting assortment of cards. So let's get right into the MVP here. First, we got Hedman and Killorn. So it looks like a Tampa Bay pack. We got Jack Campbell. Provorov is our Ice Battles. Dylan Cousins and Makar. Next is 2020-21 Hockey. Let's see if we can pull a Young Gun or a Retro Young Gun. We got an Ovechkin. Ovation, so nothing to go home about there. More MVP. Like I said, you'll probably get five of these per box. We got John Tavares, Flurry, Hannafin. One more MVP. We got Mika, Dawson Mercer, Svetnikov. This is a gold script. Non numbered. I wish they were. Kempe is our ice battles. That is a nice pack. We got 2021 Series 2. Maybe a Lucas Raymond, a Cider. And I'm going to say no because we got a John Gibson canvas. Yamamoto, Marner, and Nikushkin. One more pack of MVP. Looks like the last pack at least. Jesse Pooley RV. Philip Grubauer Ice Battles. Miko Rantanen and Andre Vasilevsky. And to finish it off, we got Parker's from 2021-22. Let's see if we can pull anything. We got Jeremy Swayman. That's a nice one. Zegers, rookie. Hey, that's not terrible. Kyle O'Connor, Killorn, Henrique, and Patrick Line. Now it is time for Series 2. Very excited for this. Can't believe we found some in the wild. And I can't believe I did not record it because I was sure that that guy would take all the packs. He took one, I don't know if he was pack picking or maybe he had a budget, but for $10.92 plus tax, I'm hoping that in eight packs we do pull at least two young guns, fingers crossed. So we got our glossy gold, Tage Thompson and Tage Thompson, Caulfield, Fowler, Carlson, Brad, JT Miller. Imagine if we do pull a Connor Bedard, that would be absolutely crazy. But the chances are very slim, but there is always a chance. Wow, that's a nice one. We got Zach Benson out of eight random packs. Well, that's pretty good. Zach Benson, Matthew Coronado, another Tage Thompson. That's like three out of two packs already. Jack Quinn, Ellers, Roslovic, Sprong. So that's pretty nice out of a random pack. All right, pack number three. Let's see that Connor Bedard, Stutzla, Bill Sweeney, Nestorenko, and Jack Guy. Norris, Robertson, Sorelli, Malkin. All right. Buchnevich, Spencer Knight, Marner, Fantilli, Philip Grubauer. And is that Braden Point in the retro? It is Braden Point, Theodore Point, Shesterkin. All right, four more packs to go. We are absolutely killing it right now, so let the good vibes continue. Got another young gun. We got Balinskis. There we go. Pretty nice rookie right there. Has a lot of upside to him. Samuel Boldick. And we got an upside down Barzell. So we got two young guns so far in eight packs. The suspense is killing me. What are we going to pull? Jared McCann, Jake Allen, Fantilli again, Stuart Skinner for the Oilers, Kopitar upside down. I wonder if all those are upside down in the gravity feed box. Two packs to go. All right, looks like maybe a canvas. We'll see. We got our Glossy, Sergei Bobrovsky, Mark Scheifele, Brain Point, Norris, Tidalandria, and Markstrom. This is getting to be a little rough. One more young gun. Let's see, and we do get a young gun. 
Let's see who it is. There's Travis Boyd, Toffoli, Mahara. For the Montreal Canadiens, though, Joel Teasdale. Askarov and Sorokin. That's pretty rough, but that was pretty fun for eight random packs. So here is all the inserts and rookies from today's Walmart hockey card hunt. So let's just go through the stuff here. So we got some Sorokin. Joel Teasdale is our young gun. It's more Kopitar, Skinner, Fantilli, Barzell. Our second young gun, Fantilli. Bill Sweeney is our third. But we did get a Zach Benson. So four young guns in eight packs. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. Tage Thompson. Tage Thompson. Zegris. And then we pulled a lot of MVP, Ovechkin, Ice Battles, some more MVP, some really nice rookies like Drysdale, Zach Jones, Zegris is a nice one, Dennis Sanko, Spencer Knight, and we got Nicholas Abruzzese. So was that worth the money? No, but that Zach Benson is pretty nice. That is the hit of today's video. We also pulled the Jumbo. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, do not forget to share. I am the card collector, and you'll see me Thursday with a brand new video.